Many of us sitting here who have taken up beginning steps in education, thanks to the Teach for India Fellowship, please shine in along with her, Rutuja, who would be uh, also letting a closing for a keynote to this. Shahin, over to you and Rutuja. Thank you. This is Kamal. Um, so, it's just been so fabulous to be sitting here and absorbing all of these thoughts and ideas and passion from so many different people and seeing so many familiar faces um, here today. My mind uh, sitting here uh, went back to 2009 when we first started Teach for India um, and Madhukar was one of the, the brave and crazy young people uh, that joined the movement and uh, thank goodness you did. Um, and to see where um, Madhukar and Sid and the LFP team has come, um, it, it fills my heart. I feel very overwhelmed. It's not, not easy to do this work. I know for years, um, Anu uh, used to tell us, working with systems change, working with government, it's a spiritual experience and, and Madhukar referenced that yesterday um, again and I and I remembered it is it is difficult work and so um, huge congratulations um, to LFE. I, I'm so happy I mean I, I I left the last panel feeling very heavy I think Farida used the, the nudge and said you know do we tap into our anger and I, I left um, feeling a little bit angry as well that Oh, why? Why still today um, do our kids struggle so much in school? And why can't we do, do more? Um, but Madhukar tasked us to talk about the hope. Um, and so when he said that, I said, well, I have to bring Rituja with me, um, who's a student of mine who I worked with exactly 10 years ago um, on, a, on a musical called Maya. And I have to embarrass Rituja and say that when I, I first knew her um, 10 years ago, um, she was 12. Um, and she was extremely shy and nervous. I would not have been able to convince her to sit on this stage. And she spoke uh, very broken uh, English. Uh, she was not confident to speak in, in any language, really. And when we asked her what are values, because you know we talked today about social emotional learning, values have been a very big part for us. She was not able to name um, any values. Um, and she's been on her own incredible path and went from Teach for India to Apsara, got a full scholarship to study in Thailand at the United World College, and then got a full scholarship um, to Lake Forest University in Chicago, where I happened to meet her uh, just four weeks ago. I went and visited her college room. Um, Farida talked about the constitution of India. When I went into her college room, I was struck by the Indian flag up there in her um, college room. And we spoke together in Chicago to people about Teach for India. And this is really the point of, of my story and where my hope comes from. We spoke together about Teach for India. And we came back to India, and Rituja doesn't even know this. I asked my board, I said, can you give us feedback about our presentation? And they said, we thought it went really well, by the way. So, you know, we thought we'd get a lot of positive um, feedback. And they said, actually, people were very confused. And I said, why were they confused? And they said, they were confused because they could not believe that she had come from a marginalized community. They could not tell the difference between our fellow alumni who are from much more privileged income backgrounds and Ritvija. And, and I, I stopped and I thought like, how incredible is that? So it reminded me today, you know, we need the best education in the world, Nand Kumar, every time I see the best education <laughs> in the world. Vishal just mentioned that as well. We need the best education for every child. You know, we need that bar. Um, and for me, that was an incredible moment that the day we stopped telling these stories about the Ritucha who made it, 
or the child who knows how to speak well, or, you know, because that, we wouldn't think that was great with our own children. We would think that's normal. So the day we stop telling those stories, I think, is the day when we proudly can hold our heads up and say, wow, we understand education. And so, so quick thoughts on the hope, and I want to bring the hope back to us as individuals, because to me, a system is nothing more than the sum of all of us. And so the first, the first, I guess, question is, like, do I understand the fullest potential of education? And I'll, I'll put it on the spot. Um, when we were uh, working together, we used to sing a little song, and it started with, this little light of mine. And the next line was? I'm gonna let it shine. A little bit louder, my love. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine, okay? When we think about light and potential, do we understand ourselves that education is providing everything possible? You said do whatever it takes so that a child can reach their greatest potential. This morning, I was standing in front of 200 school students, Pune Government School, grade eight and nine students. And my colleague stood in front of them and she said, what are the values in the Indian constitution in the preamble? 200 students. Guess how many put their hands up to answer? Just naming the values. Two children. Two children. Eh? Unless our education becomes about the idea of India, what are we actually doing? Do we really understand the potential of education? So that, that's my first point. My second point is, can we have the highest bar? Whether it's how clean our schools are, or the kind of learning levels our kids can achieve, or the fact that children, well, they really aren't the future, they are the present, and today they can change the world. Today, not in the future. So is our bar high enough? And I was reminded, Nan Kumar, today um, of that from you as well. The third question I often ask is, is there enough love in my heart to do this work? It's difficult work, it's strenuous work, but do we do it with joy? We work with children, you know? I was talking to my friend Kiran at, at Riverside, and I said, you know, sometimes the work feels so hard and we feel so burned out. And she looked at me and she said, your biggest responsibility is to do the work with joy, to do the work with love. Nand Kumar said today, satisfaction, excitement. Are we excited and can we sort of spread that, that excitement around us? Fourth quick point, we talk about equity and inclusion. And often I feel we forget the most important person in our work, which is just the child. I'm not talking about the type of child. I'm not talking about the marginalized. I'm saying, where is our student voice? And every single time I go to a conference, I look around and I'm looking for the children. Because you know what? As adults, we make quite a mess of the system. It's been in our hands for many years. Maybe if we ask our children, why do you want to learn? What do you want to learn? And how do you want to learn? and we just listen, we take very different actions. And so the idea of like bringing students into the conversation at all levels. And finally, um, again, going back to our trip together, we spent two days together in San Francisco. We had many incredible experiences. And over those two days, Rituja informally must have mentioned 25 different people to me. All people who had been part of her journey. Some of them had come in and out very quickly. Some of them had been there for years. And I stopped and I thought, the most powerful thing in education is the circle we have around us. Nandukumar was telling me in the break that every day, 
they do a phone call at nine o'clock at night with 40 government school teachers. And I said, what? Like, are they forced to come? He said, no, they come voluntarily. And I said, do you go every day? He said, almost every day. And I said, what do you talk about? And he said, I talk about how to make education the best in the entire world. Look at the power of that circle. Look at the power of the circle of people that got Ritija to where she is. Look at the power of this circle in the room. If we have that high bar, if we have love in our hearts, if we are part of a circle that will push us and hold us at the same time, I think we can do a lot more than FLM in this country. I think we can get our kids to their greatest light. And that, ultimately, is what our kids really need. 